Hey guys, happy Saturday. Scott with another Tool Thought. Um, I've been asked by two, three, maybe four uh, viewers how I clean and uh, oil my tools. And uh, I'm just trying to make this, you know, a little quick video to kind of show them what I do. Um, just because it's what I do doesn't mean it's the exact right way or, you know, the only way, but it seems to work for me. I've got tools that are really old. Um, so really all I do is I wipe them down with some sort of wipe like this. The, the, these, these really work well. Uh, cleaning and engine degreasing wipes, they take off oil and crud off the handles and all that. Um, it works really well for doing stuff like that. Uh, you know, then like I clean the joints out and stuff, you know, clean out the joints and maybe clean out the teeth. Uh, you know, what I use to clean out the teeth is just a little wire brush, you know, and if there's something like way down inside there that I can't get out, uh, I use brake cleaner to spray it out, you know what I mean? So, you know, I wait for that to dry and then uh, I'll usually hit it with, you know, oil. So I got a couple of different oils here that I use. Um, Stuff that needs, you know, a thicker lubrication, I, I you know, I just use regular old 3-in-1 oil. It's, uh, you know, got a heavier viscosity and whatnot. Um, if you want a penetrating oil, any of the good ones will work. Right now, I'm kind of enamored with the uh, Seafoam Deep Creep. It seems to work really well and really fast. Uh, for years, I used PB Blaster, which is made right here in uh, <clears throat> Northeast Ohio. So I'm kind of partial to it, but uh, it's got a really, I don't know, cloying smell, for lack of a better word. It works, uh, but right now I'm kind of in love with the Deep Creep from Seafoam. Um, I've recently discovered this Lucas Extreme Duty CLP. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm going to. Uh, I use CLP in the military, uh, break-free CLP. Uh, you know on our weapons and whatnot and uh, supposedly this is new and improved you know it's made in USA it's not real expensive I'm gonna try it and see if it leaves a you know a nice uh, coating on it but my all-time favorite is the Ballistol this stuff is awesome once you put it on um, it leaves a real nice film it it, uh, it dries uh, and it sticks, so I don't know if you can see it on these channel lock duck bills, but um, that coating's been on there since the last time I used these, you know, to do a, a drum brake job, you know, and uh, it's, uh, it's a good thick coating and it keeps the corrosion off. Um, you know, I don't want something that's going to drip all over me or drip all over the work that I'm doing or whatever, so I use the Ballistol. The thing with the Ballistol is, uh, on a tip from Scout Crafter, he's right. You buy the, um, standby. Sorry about that, folks. Had a little bit of a distraction. Anyway, uh, on a tip from Scout Crafter, I looked at the uh, value of the different Ballistols, and when you buy the aerosol cans, you're not getting as much for your money. Um, so I went to this non-aerosol type that's you know you just pour it out and you're getting twice as much the thing about ballistol is it works really well but it's expensive um, for 16 ounces so I just put it in one of these bottles and uh, it works good the problem I have is that it's so thick that you can't atomize it with one of these type sprayers so you don't get a real uniform coat uh, so what I do when I'm trying to, you know, get a protective film on my tools is I'll just do this and I'll get a little bit on there and then I just dab it all around with a, you know, a paper towel or, or a rag or something like that and then you just let it sit and dry before you jam it back in your tool bag and it works real well. If they start getting a little bit more corroded, then I'll just hit them on a the wire wheel and clean them up and then, uh, depending on how I'm feeling on each day, 
after I clean them up, I'll um, I'll shoot them with a coating of shellac, and that helps a lot to keep the corrosion off of them. But for cleaning and oiling, that's pretty much what I do. I use the, the ballastol, you know, dab it on there a little bit, let it dry before you stick it back in your tool bag, and uh, I clean them up with engine uh, degreasing wipes. That's all it is, guys. Nothing major, nothing fancy. Hope that answers your questions. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Everybody stay safe out there. Like, subscribe. Hit me with hate mail, like mail, whatever you want. Uh, I appreciate all of you. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.